The Justice for Magdalene's campaign has been very seriously in action for the past two and a half years. Uh, we're working for justice for the women who were incarcerated in the Magdalene laundry system, um, which continued in Ireland right up to 1996. Uh, our campaign has seen us go and make a case before the UN Committee Against Torture and 15 months ago they told the government that they had just one year to set up a statutory inquiry and to make sure that these women got redress and justice. That was following on from an earlier report where the Irish Human Rights Commission had also backed our claim that the state had a very strong case to answer for in being implicated in so many ways in the Magdalene Laundry system and that's been the focus of the JFM campaign. We're asking the state to acknowledge how it was implicated in the Magdalene Laundry system and to apologise to set up um, a redress and restorative justice scheme where these women can get pensions, where they can get uh, their um, proper compensation for lost wages and where they can also have their stories heard, recorded and listened to. The motion that's going to be uh, discussed in the Dáil in the next two nights is of extreme importance. Um, what the motion is asking the government to do is to acknowledge the fact that there is enough information in the public domain that shows that the state was implicated in the Magdalene Laundry system and therefore must apologise to the women. The state was implicated in the Magdalene Laundry system by sending girls and women directly into the Magdalene Laundries from industrial schools, from mother and baby homes and through the court system. The state was also directly implicated in direct funding they gave on capitation grants from health boards and from the justice system for some women who were incarcerated there. And also there was all of that soft money, all of the laundry from state departments, from, um, from semi-state bodies that was washed regularly in the laundry system. Thirdly, and perhaps most importantly, um, the state was coercive in that the Gardaí were, were required under orders to bring back women who escaped from the laundry system. And also the state itself, in its Dáil uh, reports and in debates in the Dáil, acknowledged that these places were factories, but they never inspected. They never even went back to check on the women that were put in through the court system. They never went in to check on the women who were, and the girls who were put in through the industrial school system to see what kind of lives they were living and if they ever left. And of course, they knew that there was no wages being paid, that these girls and women were effective slaves. No PRSI was ever collected. And that's just one of the, of the ways in which JFM is campaigning. These women need their pensions and lost wages.